and welcome to For Further Review. This summer, Murfreesboro City Schools embarked on a new adventure. We had 25 teachers and leaders in our school system who came together for a leadership academy from 8 o'clock in the morning till 3 o'clock in the afternoon for a solid week. These folks came together and they learned together, they talked together, and they are indeed leaders. And so we thought that we might take time to talk about the Leadership Academy and to let them share what they experienced this summer. So I'm going to ask them to each introduce themselves, tell where they teach, what grade level, and then talk just a little bit about what the Leadership Academy meant to them. So Felicia, if we could start with you, please. Okay, I'm Felicia Jackson. Um, I teach at Case Lane Academy, fourth grade. The Leadership Academy was probably one of the most motivating, exciting professional development experiences I'd ever had. Uh, the thing that I gained or that I took away from it, I think when I think of an effective leader was that I was able to come up with a vision that I could put into words. That was one thing about a leader, you had to have a vision you could clearly communicate, and I didn't feel I could clearly communicate my vision. But that's what I took from it. Thank you. My name is Katie Peek. I teach second grade at Black Fox Elementary. And attending the Leadership um, Academy this summer really kind of broadened my view of what the system is and what the system is has to offer to um, students and um, teachers and gave me an opportunity to meet other um, administrators and teachers and gather ideas to develop the vision that um, Felicia spoke about. Thank you. My name is Jennifer Clooney. I teach special ed at Black Fox. And what I took away from this academy this summer was just the collaboration among all the teachers, realizing that we're all in this together, and it's not separate schools, that we can do this as a unified school system. Okay. Well, I certainly appreciate you all coming. It was my vacation this summer to be with you. Let me ask you this. What's one thing that you learned about Murfreesboro that you didn't know? And I'll just open that up to any of you. That there are so many out people out there ready to support us in the community that really they have a an effect on our school system, but not directly, but now they want to be directly involved, and we need that. Right. Anything else? That I think, to say what Jennifer said, that was the biggest eye-opener, that there are people in the community that are willing to come in and say, we have this, we have these special talents, we have these resources for you to help you reach your, your students and to become a better teacher for um, the population. One, one of the things that you talked about is the idea of vision. Could you please share for us what your vision is for Murfreesboro City? Felicia, would you share that, please? When I came up with my vision, I was trying to narrow it into six actions. And the six actions that I came up with was to hear all, protect all, help all, love all, respect all, and empower all. Because if you do all those steps and embody the whole child, once you empower a child, uh, I feel that you give them a sense of self and a sense of accomplishment, then they're going to be successful academically and, per and personally. Katie? I think my vision involves a lot of collaboration, that there are all kinds of people with special talents within the schools, within the system, and within the community. And um, through collaboration, we can meet the needs, both academically and personally, of all the students in our system. Jennifer, you were with a lot of really good teachers yes. that, this summer. And I think that what I heard is that you met a lot of people that you really didn't know, but you really share the same kind of vision. Let's, let's talk about teaching just a little bit. Jennifer, describe for me what you think would be the perfect teacher. Teacher who is open and willing to share um, there's no re need, reason to reinvent the wheel if you know you don't need to. And I think there were a lot of teachers there that are willing to share because we all have great ideas, but we need the opportunity to share those. Okay. Right. Katie, talk to me a little bit about when when we talk in Murfreesboro City, we say that we're going to teach the whole child, and I think that you've mentioned that. What does that mean to you that that we're going to work with the whole child? Um, I think that 
teaching the whole child is not just focusing on the academics of the child. And these are the standards that I'm asked to teach and the material that I'm asked to cover and these are the textbooks that I have to use, but it's also looking at um, each child, what, what they have experienced, what they already have learned, and taking them from that place to get them ready to take the next step once that they leave my, sc my school, my grade level, and go into wherever it is they're going to be. I know, Felicia, that you're very interested in working with parents. Is there any advice that you could give parents about helping their children? or about working with teachers even. Okay. Probably the advice that I give the parents, um, number one, to be sure they're open to communication with me. That's, that's the number one, because we have to work together uh, in order for the child to be successful. Uh, positive, to be positive with their children. Because that, you know, you can always tell if the child comes in and they're kind of negative, usually it's stem from something that happened at home. So just trying to encourage them Find something positive to say to encourage them. Katie, I'm going to put you on the spot. Okay. Talk to me about the perfect principle. Describe the perfect principle. <laughs> I think the perfect principal is somebody who's open to collaboration, to work with the team of teachers and be the voice of that team. Um, and so I think that that's probably to me the most important thing that a principal needs to, to do is to work with their teachers because the teachers are the ones that are with the kids every day for the seven and a half, eight hours that they're at school. Jennifer, could you talk just a little bit about uh, what advice you would give someone out there who wants to become a teacher? Only do it if you're in it for the child. There's no other reason to be a teacher other than to make that child's life better. Okay. Felicia, would you add to that, please? I, I agree with what she said. Um, it's about the child, not about the standardized tests and their academics and things like that. We have to meet their basic needs, including academics, but also other needs. Katie, we've uh, started some changes, not a lot of changes, but we've talked about focusing on the whole child. We've talked about professional learning communities, the idea of teacher collaboration, the idea of folks like you who are leaders enabling you to go deeper with your learning, with your leadership. What is one change that you would like to see Murfreesboro City Schools make? I think the the change that we've already started that I'm the most excited about that's new to this year and we haven't gotten really involved yet in the steps to this are, is the collaboration between the, the teachers. Um, like I said before, I think there are the teachers in all the buildings have such unique talents and such unique gifts for working with the kids that being able to talk and share amongst each other um, will really take Murfreesboro City Schools to the next step. Okay. Jennifer, let me ask you, if a uh, new school you're starting, what are your dreams for this year? I'm just I'm ready to get in there and get started and get to know the kids again and to hear about their summer and basically go, let's go from point A to point B. Let's see what walks in our door and see how far we can take them. Katie, what are your dreams? My dreams for this school year are just to, to meet my class of students to see um, what wonderful talents they have and to get to know each one and to develop those talents into um, a successful child. Felicia, tell me your dreams for this year. Pretty much what they said, but my dream is to make a difference. That's always important, to lead with my heart. Um, but the main thing is to make a difference in each child's life. Well, I want to thank you three for what you do for the children and what you do for Murfreesboro City Schools. Really enjoyed being with you this summer. We're going to follow up during the year. We'll do some reading together and some study together and uh, would welcome if, if the public, if those of you who are out there, if you would like any of these ladies or any of our other Leadership uh, Academy folks to come out and talk with your business or your company, they certainly have uh, a lot to share. So thank you so much for your support of Murfreesboro City Schools and we certainly are looking forward to this school year.